Nini Mtaik and welcome, this is Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So in front of me there, I've got a Toshiba TV, it's a 32 inch LCD. Let me get you the exact make and model. This is going to be the 32BV700B, right? I'll put the details in the link below. So the problem with this TV is it has some power coming in but I've got a white blinking light on the standby light. Now, I'm fairly confident that I know the problem on this. It's gonna be down to the power supply board and the capacitors on there, which probably have gone bad, but we're gonna take a look. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to take off the pack cover. I'm gonna show you all the location of the screws. All you need is a screwdriver, Phillips. And uh, starting from the bottom right corner, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, and 11 down here, okay? On the back, you've got two screws here. If you have something, just take them off. Also, near the back panel, there is two smaller screws. And then on the stand, you can have one, two, three, four, which you need to take off. Once you take these off, this will come off. And you will also have two more screws here, one and two. I mean, they are, are different shapes and sizes. I've uh, collected them in this little thing here. So make sure you remember where they go. You could take a picture or, you know, draw a diagram and find out where the screws go, but they're not very difficult to figure out. Okay, so once you've done that, this is gonna pop off fairly easily, the back cover. All right, once you got the cover off, I'm fairly confident I know the problem on this one. It's gonna be this power supply board. I'm going to show you up close. I think these capacitors, there's one, two, three, and four capacitors. They look blown to me. I'm going to show you up close. But if you want to dismantle them, then you need to unplug this cable here. This is for the power. One and two. Okay. And uh, this connecting cable and this connecting cable. Just don't pull up on the wires, but by the sides. And these are the four main connections on this board. And then you've got some screws. We've got one, two, three, four, and here I think there's a fifth one central. Just need to take the screws off, and this easily comes off, like so, okay? And what you're looking for, essentially, let me zoom that in, and, and if you have a look, this capacitor here looks blown. So we've got one, and, uh, This one here, two, three, and four, those capacitors, they look blown to me. I mean, the rest, they look fine, but who knows? Now, what's the advice? What I'm gonna to say to you is that this board, you're in luck. The reference for this board is 17PW26-4, and it's a very common board. You could actually just get the whole thing replaced, which will cost you a lot less time and energy. It retails for about 15 pounds or less, uh, refurbished, you could get maybe for less. Or what are some other people do if you're confident with a uh, desoldering kit, you can actually order these bulge out um, capacitors, which will cost you probably about four to five pounds. But some other people, what they do, they sell the whole kit. I mean, they would replace the whole of the capacitors. That's really down to the individual. Um, I can't advise you either way. Take your chances, depends on your budget and your willingness. The easiest thing to do would be to just get this board replaced. If you get a refurbished one, obviously we don't know how long the capacitors would last again and it may die on you, but that's a risk you need to take. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to order these capacitors. I've already desoldered one, which is this one. And I'm give you the link below for the reference. This one, let's see if we can zoom that in. Okay, so there were two of uh, 1000 UF 16 volts, one 470 UF 35 volt, and one 2700 UF 16 volt. So I went ahead and changed only these four capacitors and we're gonna give it a good test to see if it works. Okay, so as a test, I hooked it up to an old PC I had lying about and I just plugged in a video of a previous dead TV repair that I've done. 
so it seems to be working fine and we were lucky this time because it was only these four capacitors that needed changing do remember it could be the other capacitors as well and also there could be other faults on the tv itself but as long as you don't repair or replace the power supply board you will not be able to troubleshoot any further Okay guys, so I hope this was helpful. Do remember any electronics repair does come with a risk. So please consult a professional if you're in doubt. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you. Leave me a like if you found this video helpful. Consider subscribing and also sharing this vid. This was Ash from Heal My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.